and your mercy endures forever. Come on, clap your hands and shout if you believe it tonight. Come on, everybody. Verse number 10, we'll read up to verse number 18. Let's open our mouth again. Let's confess. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wails of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins done about with the truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fairy darts of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Hallelujah. Father, I pray that you speak to us. May we hear you. And Father, may we follow you. May we become strong in the Lord. May we resist. May we become overcomers. Father, as we sit down, speak to us in a language we can understand in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We may get seated. I'll introduce something which we might conclude next Sunday. But I'll just do the introduction. I know some of you don't know we have been going through OMI, but you don't know what you're missing. We are calling it the Marathon Series, Prayer as an Adventure. I know some of you come now, live another, but I hope you have been going through the, the OMI materials. If you would, I would ask you to go back later on from page number 83 to 93 and go back and read again on the spiritual warfare. When I got there and I knew we were getting into this uh, part, I saw what a preparation that God is letting us go through. Bondages, 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 they are, they, they are all over there. Bondages. But I want to talk about three stages of bondage as an introduction. And I don't know how far we'll go, but wherever I shall finish, there is where we shall pick it next time. Bless the name of the Lord. There are three stages. There could be more stages. You know, one of the things about preaching to people uh, that are preachers like you is that you also add your own points, and it is welcome. So me, I'll talk about three. You can talk about four. You can talk about five. Maybe I did not have a lot of time, but maybe you have. But three stages of bondage. And uh, those three stages, I would recommend, as I come to share about, that if God will give you grace, attack the first stage. If you can, attack the second stage. Because if you do that, the third stage might not need a lot from you. Bless the name of Jesus. So if an Eve, by the grace of God, you might find that you still need deliverance from level three, if you can do well in those two levels, I know that God is going to, to help you. So I'm saying this is just a brief look. We'll just get as we continue, we'll go a little deeper and a little deeper, and finally, there will be an attack here. Uh, we will do some declaration. But stage number one is ignorance. Ignorance. 
is a stronghold or strongholds and deception. So stage number one would be ignorance, comma, strongholds and deception. Ignorance. Just like you don't know where Gashogu is. You know, I went to a place and I told somebody, I don't want to say anything so that I don't appear and learn it. You know, you can see. <laughs> Somebody said this. We put up a professor on our gear, Professor Guru Nayazaka at your gear. If you want to appear professional, <laughs> just be smiling and nodding your head as they talk. <laughs> now I'm telling you the truth. Actually, I attended. Ezekiel Mutua invited me one day to their office. And I was going to pray for vehicles. You see? Praying for vehicles. But then where I sat before we went to pray for vehicles, I sat next to Pogishi. So then there were reporters from all over the world who were taking photos and so on. So one that was doing CNN came and asked me, by the way, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> when, <laughs> when I tell them that... <laughs> <laughs> so if you're sitting with people that are so intellectual, you know, they are learned, you know, and they are talking something to do with the physics and you know by the grace of God what happened to your physics. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing that you can do is to keep on nodding your head and smiling broadly. And when they want you to say anything, you just say, I'm okay, I'm all right. No comment. And you will appear like you are. But that is on that, those areas. But when it comes to spiritual matters, we don't need to be ignorant because when we are, it is a door that opens and the devil can attack us. That is the only place that if you don't know, you declare, I don't know. You know, there are, there are, there are some of you that want me to cancel you. My counseling is free because my counseling is not professional. But lo and behold, after Anne has finished Paku, and then she puts a touch. Some of you will say, Pastor, I'm going to spend a pesa, Saidi. No, I'm going to spend a pesa. I'm going to buy a gym, 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 That's why you come to us. But if somebody comes to me, and what they're asking me, actually, I have no clue, no idea, I recommend. One, 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 one time a, a, a doctor, a, a lecturer, senior lecturer somewhere called me, I don't know, because I had preached in their institution and called me and they wanted cancer. And I thought, you know, mutu wa mekwambi ya di doctor. Sasa di kaona ule wangu. So I told, I know a doctor. And the doctor works at Paku. And she's a DVC there. And I know she's a qualified so I connected. Now, three weeks later, she calls me. She said, that DVC, he's so busy. I said, yeah, those ones are always very busy. You have to book an appointment. You know, sasa, sasa, hawewe, kutakuwa na pasta ni kuigia tu. Pasi yuko. Ignorance, actually ignorance, becomes, it is actually the first of the bondage. It is, it is caused by ignorance, which grows up to a stronghold, and the enemy's greatest weapon in this the stage is deception. He will come and deceive you. He will come and cause you not to understand. And what he wants you not to understand is the true picture of who God is. You see, why do people go to witch doctors? It's because they are ignorant about God and the power that God has. Let's go back to Exodus. Moses comes from the throne of God and he's told, go there, do this, and do this, and do that. See, you know, come your story. But there is, there is only one thing that Pharaoh had no answer for. What to kufa? Pio, diwelipustua kasema hameni. But when Moses threw the stick down and became a snake, Pharaoh and I, hey, Vijana, Kujani, 
and vijanas were there. Na wazee kujeni akusheni zenu. Kwanza aona zenu ni nyingi. They dropped theirs and they were ministering. Now the only difference and that's where I say it is good to understand who God is. When the snake of Moses saw the others, it was a wonderful meal. Swallowed all of them. And then Moses was told, Sadashika. Meaning when Moses was living there, he was living with their snakes. They had none. He knew his God and believed him. Now you and me ought to know our God so that when deception comes and ignorance comes, we can know who's God and which side are we here. Ni mungu gani tunamuamini? Ni mungu gani tunamuamini? So the primary weapon of the devil is to put a person into this stage, one bondage, is to make sure that you are deceived. You have no idea of who God is. I still believe that God that spoke thunder those days can still thunder today. I believe in my heart that God who judged those people that went wrong side. Yani wali mwengia mungu kwa wrong side. Wanza, wanza kuna, kuna jama moja, alikuja na maringo, wakakuja na kamusichana kwa hema. Huh? Hakuja na pitia kwa musa. Anapita tu na maringo. Alafa naigia kwa nyumba. Jama moja akashikwa na holy anger. Mwambie jirani yako holy anger. Mwambie tena holy anger. Maybe you need to say this. Holy anger, holy anger. Come upon me. Holy anger, holy anger. Come upon me. Natoka na mkuki. Haka wakuta style hiyo hiyo. Moja hako juu na mugine hako chidi. Haka piga mkuki uka pita kwa kifuwa uka ingia mioyote muiri na uka tandika chini. Holy anger. Holy anger. There are some things that God will need to raise us. Because we know our God will fight with the sin, with the compassion in it. Deception is a weapon that the devil wants to use. But if you keep in God's word, the word of God will help you to pull down strongholds, imaginations and pictures and perceptions that people have. If you use the word of God, it will help you. So I pray that God can help us so that we have a right picture of our God. Right picture of God. Do you know me what I believe? I believe in my heart. When the saints of God to Taomba, kama Musa wana wa Israel walivi olidia mungu baka agasikia, mungu atasikia kiwa biguni na atainua Musa. Sasa Musa atakuja kufanya nini? Si atareta sheria. Musa asha induliwa. Mwambi jirani yako, Musa is already there. Diyo tunawambia amurizake mungu. Musa is already there. But I believe a Joseph will rise one of these days. Not a David, but a Joseph. Someone who will serve all tribes freely and well and faithful. Because Joseph needed to be there. Na ispokuwa ndugu zake aliwachezea shere kidogo. Wale wengine wa mataifa aliwauzia chakula. Lakini ndugu zake alikuwa kwa enjoy tu. Wanatoa pesa na zirudisha kwa mfuko ili warudi kule tena warudishwe. You know he was just enjoying them. As they do what they had refused. Kumpigia magoti. You are on live forever. Live forever. Have we done what? Do you have a brother? Yes we do but we cannot. We were told not even to say he is there. Say also you do. Yani aliwachezea kabisa. But we need a Joseph in this country. And how would a Joseph come? Is when we know our God properly. We have a better picture of our God. And we, we, we lift him up to his position. And we are not ignorant of the power of the Lord. Of course we shouldn't be ignorant of the power of the devil. But we need to also know and have a better picture of our God. Who he is. If you see God as a taskmaster. You will, like, you will also act like he is one. And you will have the intimacy that God wants to have with you. You will put up a wall between yourself and God. When you don't see him as loving God. Is there one person in your life that you know loves you to pieces? Maybe it is your spouse or parent. Friend or even your pet. You can feel that person's love. And have a very special relationship with that person. Or that pet. Now think. If you saw that person as a cruel taskmaster, 
with a cold personality. Even though it is not true, it would kill your relationship. Wouldn't it? Yani, kama kuna ndugu, dada huyo ananipenda. Huyo dada ananipenda. Kwa di najua ananipenda, angesha hama. Tasa mtu wakimitolea unabimu, unajua kuna unabimu ingine, James, unatolea kwa siku hizi. Na watu wamejua, tiada kuja na kuambia, wawo ni meona, unge kuwa mebarikiwa sana. Hati wale ule na kataa ubarikiwe ni mkeo wako. I know my tell them, mazi wewe unitui, na mkeo wako umutui. Kwa tulipo wawana, tunajua tulikuwa na nguo ngapi, na viyatu vingapi. Yani we can count. Yani sanduku hile tuli... Ah, wacha ni kukwe kukwigiria mambo yale. So, what I'm saying is, now that person, if I would think she is a taskmaster, if I would think she is well, then my relationship with her will not be right. And I want to tell you, friends, a lot of our relationship is because of our perception. The picture we have of the people that ought to have loved us, we think they are cruel. And so our relationship has some problems. Kwa sababu kweli, how can you love someone today and then tomorrow unaniambia? Upendo iliisha. Hai basa, hiku upendo. Have you had people say, I don't believe now it is the will of God. If it was the will of God then, it is still the will of God now. What has happened? You are under some bondage of a kind. You are under some deception of a kind. What I saw first Your picture. Who are you in Christ? Who are you in Christ? If I have a better picture of who I am in Christ, if I have a better, tell your neighbor, I have a better picture of who I am. If I have a better picture of who I am in Christ, do you know that ma what makes you? You can't worship a person. Never. If they try to tell them, ah, ah, fadali kazi kai, lakini siku wakutu, mungu peke yake. When you know yourself, you not give yourself in so that you can get favor. You, you, if you know yourself, who you are in Christ, but a lot of us, we don't know who we are in Christ. No wonder the witches, the devil, they, whenever they do their games, they come to do it at your compound. Si unasema holy yanga, holy yanga. Alafu wako hindi unayenda unatangaza musimamo. Hapo kwako. Na unasema sikatai, watembe kwa jirani. Lakini kwa, kata kuingia wachomeke. Tumbo zichomeke, ziwake, moto. Holy yanga, holy yanga. We are still talking about ignorance. And I want to finish with this point, then we'll pick it next time. Another thing that really you need to deal with, because you know, if I am ignorant about God and His Word, if I'm living under some deception of who God is, then there must be something that is holding me. And this I would call it legalism versus the law of grace. Legalism versus the law of grace. And this is a vital thing you need to understand. It is the law of grace. Many Christians feel they must go to church every Sunday and keep a list of laws in order for God to accept and love them. This is not true. God has already accepted you as you are. And he loved you so much while you are a sinner. In actual fact, while you are a sinner, he died on the cross for you. Now that you are a born again, he's not going to die again. He died once. The grace of God. He sent his son to die for your sin. Our good deeds should be a result of our love for God. Not because we want God to love us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The deeds that I have, good deeds, I'm not seeking a favor to the Lord. No. But because I love him, there will be some good deeds that are going to come from me. The scripture says that we have died to the law. And are no longer subject to it. We are under a new law now. It is the law of grace. And it is worked out through us. Through the love of Christ. When we realize. That love of God in our life. When we realize. When I am so conscious. About the love of God. First of all. There is no place. There is nothing. You know. When I was preparing here. A thought came. You know, coping and conquering. You know that, that is that word, eh? Coping and conquering. That a lot of us, 
have agreed to cope with everything. Haka shetani na umambia wewe utakuwa ukifanya hivi shetani, bedroom usi ukija. Lakini siti unaweza kwa hapana, hapana. Ati yawe ya kija jikodi, unajua kuna hile sisi watu wa tukutenda sa sisi tuliokuwa kakitambo. Kuna shunda tulikuwa tukitoa hile miaka ya sabini ya zamani. Vile shetani ya liingia kangusha glass. Vile shetani ya liingia. Na nikuwe anaingia kwa nangusha glass. Lakini ya naingia kufanya ni hile. Kwa hile naingia kufanya ni hile. Tulimfungulia wapi hile ya ingia kwa nangusha glass. Glass inaeza angusho na upepo. Lakini hile angusho na demoni. Pepo ya spin evil. Sini lazima tumuambie sasa two things. Eitha ukai. Ama nikai. Nikika uwe inji. Ukika uwe inji. Haini matuwezi kapa moja. Abonaisu wapewe sifa. Legalism versus grace. Are you doing what you're doing because you feel obligated? And are you trying to earn favor with God? Then you have fallen from the law of grace. And you have gotten into legalism. I have to do it. I have to please who? Who are you pleasing? Who are you pleasing? Let's honor God. You know, I come to church because I want to come to church. By the way, I come to church around 6 a.m. And nobody told me to be coming at 6 a.m. But you know, I learned something as your pastor. I learned when I come at 6 a.m., a few things I would know. If there was a breakage, I would know. I'll be the first to know. If I have no equipment, I will know. I will ask for a friend. For a good. Yani kama wezi wa mekuja wakaipa. Tatafuta. Yani nakuja pa pepa. Kuta kuna mtu wa memesi huku dami tuchayu. Na nimepata sasa kuna wadada wa kiroho. Nao sasa wa nakuja sayo. Uki wakuta na zile kuwa wa mevaa. Arafte na uwaone wakati wa meanza kuwasha. You will be wondering. Na hune niliona alienda wapi. Kwa sababu kuna nguo za kasi. Na kuna nguo za ibada. Wanafanya nini? Wanakuja hapa hili pari umekalia kwana. Ebu, ebu fanya hivi pari umekalia uangalia. Angalia kwa mkono. Nasi, hakuna dust. Unafikiria hili tifuruta, eh? Una mtu alifanya hilo job. So, so I, there are some things that we do, not because people want us to do, but because we feel it is an... One, one of them waliniambia hili, ye, hey, alizungutua na mungu, alikalia kiti. Hivi umekalia. Alafu alipo fanya hivi, kafanya hivi. Kapanguza. Na haya kasema jumapiri ichaya ni mimi na hizi vitu. Na halipo kuja hino jumapiri ya kwanza. Kuenda viti vitatu hile kitaba yake imeja rangi ya wa in brown. Akajua kuna kuwaga na vumbi. Kweli kuna kuwaga na vumbi. Na sahi imeanza kuwa si niki sana kwa sawa super highway inaenda ikiisha. Kwenu super highway they were crashing here. Hata kwa ofisi yangu ilikuwa unaikuta huko. Ukikuza tu kidogo. <laughs> Kwanza kuna mtu moja alikuja kufanya interview Kwa ofisi No, hakuja kufanya, alikuja kuniambia nataka kazi Na hakaangalia ofisi yangu wakasema Kama sasa hii ofisi yangu ya kwa bisho Siko na uchafu mwingi sana Kambia hakuna, kuna uchafu He Kuhumbe uchafu na kwa mwingi hivyo Hakaenda tu pare kwa mlango Hakafanya hivyo He <laughs> Kama nilikuwa na gazi yu nigeampatia pale pale. Legalism. What I'm saying is, the stage that we need to work in our hearts and in our lives, first is to make sure we are not ignorant about the devices of the devil ever. Two, we have a right picture of who God is. Three, we know our positions in Christ. And fourthly, remember there is grace. See, see. Nema, 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 nema. Precious heaven, the Father, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This morning, we do thank you, we do honor you. We know, dear Father, there are many things that we are going to learn because this is only a part of stage one. But God, I pray that you're going to help us all as we walk together that we will know the, 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 the devices and the schemes of the devil. We have just started by his bondage. We have just started by that he's, it is to, he comes to make us be ignorant. But Father, we are going to learn the word of God and know who you are and know ourselves to the praise and to the glory of your dear name. I am who I am by the grace of God.
Um, Ephesians chapter 6. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wheels and if you like the schemes of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in the high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins done about with the truth, and having on your breast, breastplate of righteousness, and your feet showed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fairy darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. We started talking about the three stages of bondage. And I don't know whether there is anybody who can remember what we said. Is there anybody who can try? What do you think we said? It's, it's the other Sunday. Ignorance. What? And deception. And then we said something about those things. What did we say about God? If you have a faulty picture of God, we said if you have a faulty picture of yourself, if you have a faulty picture, or if you don't know who you are in Christ, we also say there's some legalism versus the law of grace. And today I want to pick it from there. But before I do, I want to back up again. The young man who spoke here last Sunday came in and fitted very well. Because you see, it is when we know, when we are so sure, when I am so confident that uh, where I stand I'm okay. And where I'm going I have peace about it then the devil will have no place, no room to come and bring confusion into my spirit. So he touched on some traditions, some things that you and I have, whether, whether, whether you know why you do them or not, because some of us do things that you even don't know what you're doing. And, I, and I, when we went out for Ladoti, I, I mentioned to the young man, I said, some of the things that we even do, we are told that when you're getting married, you have to appease your grand great grandfather by pouring literally some drink because they will also drink. Now, when you think about your grandfather drinking, what simply says is that we have a lot of uh, things around us that we, we want to sacrifice to without having no clue, no idea why we are doing it. So the young man brought in a very, very powerful cherry. And maybe to recap a little bit for those that were not here, uh, uh, you, you, name, you name them. Uh, you name them. Even when you're having a child, there are some traditions. Names. Oh my goodness. Nyakayu. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Huh? An initiation. Yeah? Initiation. 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 Oh. All right. Gender. Ah, gender. Weddings. Funerals. Pandey? Pandey, I'm going to judge. Like in the good and good, you know, I'm going to get a book. I'm a book. You know the word ten, Lydia. Who am I as a quantity? 
<laughs> but anyway, the point is, even all those things actually can lead doorways to bring the evil spirit into our lives. And then we wonder, where did it happen? You know, one of the, one of the, one of the things that uh, happens in the encounter is a, is a, is a movie, movie session. One of the best times is on the movie session. And then you are told in the movie, you are the controller, you are the one who knows how long it is. Now, see it now. I know some of you, when you see it on the television, you want to see it until morning. Now we allow you in the encounter, see the movie as long as you want to see it. And there are people who have looked at that movie and they have come into the next session, waiting for the cross, so that they can ask God to pull them from where they find themselves. But some of us, I don't know. We we didn't have a mutam babo na our koe roho ya kusahau. Ata ata whatever you ate two days ago, you can't remember. Of course, next time last week, you just remember last week. You passed. How can I remember what I ate? But anyway, some of us forget. Some of us even can't remember the secondary they went to. Ati ana kwambi atuli na secondary they ipo katikati ya soko. You know? It's like some of us who are confused, you know. At one time, we were in Moranga district. And then, Kukawa district in the name of Maragua. We were in the name of Maragua. We were in the name of Maragua. We were in the Thank God. Count as a Karudi. Sasa sisi ni wamorana tena. Na hana hiyo ni poa. Because some people are having problems. But me, every time I feel, I say, Nakuru, Naivasha, Naivasha, then Karate. If you like, that is how the village, you know, the village, you know, the division, and so on and so forth. But people forget. And it is when we forget, then we cannot get the full deliverance. We get partial deliverance. But if I can remember the things that have happened. You know, a lot of you of my age, at a certain time, your mother took you somewhere. Get it me? Oh, sorry. Yeah, we were taken somewhere. Whatever they said, yeah, it happened. And the others, of course, were taken to a river. Very cold water, very early, uh, so that they can. <laughs> so, when we talk about the stages you are on, the, uh, the tradition that we have believed in, and so on and so forth. But today, I want to get to the stage number two, and hopefully, stage number three, and we'll be done on that. But we are still preparing. Tell your neighbor we are still preparing. We are going to break something here. Tell him we will break something here. And because maybe they are new, they, they, they are new, they, they, they are... <laughs> you know yesterday we went to a funeral in Yakat, Lower Nyakat. And... Uh, yes, Lower Nyakat. I will not tell you what happened. I am praying, resisting. <coughs> yeah. Anyway. Before, before, when I arrived, I went to one of the, Pastor Pastor Kaunda's brother, elder brother. We did the interview together one day. He passed the interview before me to become a minister with the Deliverance Church. When he came, he was smiling. I was still wondering whether the tapita mtihani. No interview in Kazi. But anyway, when I went, I also came out smiling and telling him everything is okay. So when I landed there, I went to his bomber first. And I, and I met someone there, and we started talking. Now, sasa huyu ni mtu niliona na macho. He repeated, you remember the story that I tell you, unaperekwa katiado, unanogia kwa njia, wanakupindua. Wewe yo kisa? Sasa hiya mwenye wakatambia, wacha yo, wacha yo, bisho. Tradition zetu ni kari, kambia diambia yako. Kanambia hivi, siku moja, jama, anataka kuperekwa bungoma. Na anatalewa Mombasa. Mungo mwono ajwe ni kwa kina pasta. Kutoka 
Mombasa mpaka Moi siku tatu. Gari kutovoka wakitengeneza kukataa wakapigia wazee nyumbani. Mzee wazee wawili wakatoka huko nyumbani. Wale wanajua what is happening. Wakakuja. Wakasema nyinyi watoto, ndokeni, 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 watoto, ndoka, ndoka. Wakachukua sanduku wakaenda nayo bahari kwa kichaka kidogo wakafungua. Wakachapa huyo jamaa. Alafu akarudisha kwa sanduku wakafunika, wakaweka kwa gari, haikutoboka tena. Paka bongo. Whether you know there is a place called Ugashorwe or not, Iko! Hawa wazee walichapa chapa! Pa, 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 pa! Na wanaongea na luka, pa, pa, pa! Udo, 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 pa! Alafu wakarudishi ya kwa zaduku, wakafunga. Wakasama sasa beba, tuendeni. Sasa hiwa ya tho. I thought it was very interesting. But he told me, I, he said, I was the chairman. And we were trying to get to Bukoma, but we could not void from Mombasa three days on the road until somebody knew how to eat a vase. Upper Vija, which I don't know, was ever put your hair at all, look at you, look at you. Go at all, go on, look at you, look at you, look at you. Then you will be a map of what you can get up. So whether you like it or not, to those things, we think that happen to your neighbor or happen to someone. But I like your smile. I like your smile today for Anderson. Because some of your smile is saying, Dear Bishop, Imam, Imam, Usituambi Imam. And you know, I discovered if I don't tell you, Mutambiwa. Na mkiambu wegine Mutambiwa vibaya. Mutambiwa vibaya. People will kind of put a lot of fear. You remember there was a time that they made us fear the devil so much. Hata kwa gari wana kuambia, he could be the guy seated next to you. I know some of you can't remember. He will let a shit and pack a family as he can't have a channel. Kwa sababu uri ambio, he could be sleeping next to you. Na vitabu, tukaretua vitabu za wengine na ito wa mabrawni, na zingine zinatoka huko Nigeria. Jamani, unaangalia ndugu yako. Na kuzawa, kuna mambo tulikuwa tumeambiwa, when they say this, that demon is demon from the river. Sasa unaenda, unajivite, unazawa ya pepo ya baharini, shindo. You know, but I also told you, zini nilitoleo unabia hapa, mimi. Kuna jamari ni penda sana. Kaja haka niambia pasta. Baraka ya mungu hiko juu yako. Wewe, mubarikuwa sana. Na kini ya nae kuzuhia ni mke wako. Sana nika kata. Nita sana nika kata. Kwa sabu kwe. Mekaa na mtu wame kusaidia yu miaka yoka lako wakafuna. Jamaa, mnabi moja. Anakuja na kwambia. Na unajua kama nigekua mjika. Sana tukekua tumewajana na alas. Ujinga hii ya pesa nane na 25 yote pamoja na changanyo. But it was that time, that time of that movement, when you are warned that the devil could be your child, and then because you have read something and you see what they are behaving, you agree. Sasa smile yako imeno. Why this stage is important is because a lot of us, what is happening to us is legal. Legally, we have allowed it to happen. Wewe mwenyewe, legally, umesema shetani, kuja, na duwakawe wiki, mukuche, na mdai, ni mwakaribisha. So we look at the legal, the legal part, the legal rights that are involved. So this is important. And some of these legal rights could be unforgiveness in a person's heart. That you have allowed the devil to use your unforgiveness. Yani umekana hasira mkizi. Yani ati ukiona mtu vlani unatapika. Yani imekufunga to a point that when you see someone unashake. 
See only people. Eh. Hata ukatai kusimaini. What I see. Some of us have allowed the devil to come and bring demons to us and the power of witchcraft can come to us so easily because our heart, we have unrepented sin. There is a sin that you have kept. Na hii unakataaga nae. Ukienda kutubu, wanza unajua shida kubwa, tunatakara kutubu na mnai. Niombe. Nikuombe nini. Unspoken. Can I tell you something? God does not answer unspoken. God answers spoken. But because I'm your pastor, so unspoken. Lord, minister to this brother, the unspoken request. But the truth of the matter, unless I open up as bitter and as hard as it is, God is not going to hear me. That's a legal place. We allow the devil, the demons to come into our, into our hearts. Also, maybe things that we are hiding, that we know they are wrong. Let me say this. Some of us that are here, from single parents, we cry to them, Mommy, I want to know my father. And because you are hurt by that man, you don't want, you actually say, Alikufa. Na unamuona na ukimono na tapika. Ukimono kala inabarilika. The best thing is, Say it. If you are in this church and your husband is in this church and you have the child of that man in this church this morning, when we leave, tell them, tell your child, you let your baba yako. <laughs> if you want God to minister to you, there must be something that you speak out because it has bound you. Things that you have hidden. Things that you have hidden. I gave you the story of a scene that had followed the grandmother, then the mother, then the daughter, of having children just a day before they are ready. When I conceive. Why? Because the grandmother never confessed. If she did, her daughter will have gotten a warning. Some of us get into those things because we don't speak. Hatikwamba ukiona. Hii zambi kana chazaga na mnaika na endaga na mnaitu kakeme na tunaweza pata ushindi. Hide it. Or we keep a cast of things. Now I'm going to say some things today that I'm sure some of you will call me so that I can clarify. But I will say them anyway. <laughs> I will say them anyway. You know somebody says, uh, come on Meshika microphone. Where do you call power? <laughs> so ties, etc. Those things that have kept you, those things become legal rights of the devil, the demons, the powers to harass you. Those things, all what they need actually is to be renounced. The vows that you have made with the Satan. With the spiritual, uh, the, the spirit, the evil spirit and their guides, demons, and any other person, anything that you have welcomed to yourself, what you need to do is to denounce it in the name of Jesus. And that is easy as it is. The goal of addressing this stage is so that you can break yourself from any legal ground that the enemy has gained in your life. You see, the least. It's not complete. You can also add on. Remember the men. We gave them a list at the encounter. They looked at our list. They said, They added. But now the, the only problem, Pastor, is that we burn those things. We don't keep records. Because in the next list, we would have added that. But now, Unaongeza to Anyway, legal grounds. The list is not complete, but you can add on to it. But the goal is to give you an idea of some of the things which can give legal rights into demon possession and getting into witchcraft without knowing. Let me go a little deeper into two or three. Unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. 
In actual fact, unforgiveness is one of the biggest tools the devil uses against God's people. It's not only, it does not only cut us off from God's, uh, God's forgiveness, but it also turns you over to the tormentors. If you don't forgive, it turns you to the tormentor, which are demons. Because you give yourself legal right for demons to come and play with you. And forgiveness is a sin which can defile a person. And forgiveness in itself is a sin which should be repented of. You know, muzigo ya kubeba watu na kubeba mambo tuliambiwa inakuwa la kilo nyingi kuliko kilo za sukari na unga. Na uzuri wa kilo ya sukari na unga ukichoka unafanya na mdaka. Na yaka chini na kumuzika rafu na pa. Lakini hii ya ndugu mnalala na ya. Can you imagine? Na umeo na mnalala na ndugu mungine kwa kitanda hiyo hiyo. Haya. Mama, unalala kwa hiyo kitanda na buwana yako na mtu mungine. No wonder ni wachie hapa. The point that I'm bringing is muziko ya kubeba ni muzito kuliko muziko ya gunia. Kwa sababu ni kibeba gunia ya sukari, unafika maali mnaweka chini, nienda kulirax. Lakini ukibeba shikuku utalala na mutambua muna mwereka. Na kama shikuku hana nidhamu, ataogea na huyo mtu usiku, na jakia atakuwa akisikiza, sahili atamaliza ni waburiza, ooo, kumbe kuna kuwaga na mtu eh. Uyo mtu mumemanyana na yo siku mzima ni mtu gani. Kwa sababu utakua umetoko na jasho. Ama utuwe ni mtu anatakua na jasho mshiku. Natoko na jasho. Unasweat. Kwa sababu mumemangangana. Lakini kuna wengine munanganganaga kisirisiri huko. Unatoko na jasho pira kusema kitu. Lakini kuna wengine. Unaeza shema ishinwe. Alafu mama amuke. Ama umuita fulani. Mama astuke amuke. So unforgiveness becomes a door that you need to denounce it. And confess the sin. Zambi ambayo ujakiri. You know there are some of you that have a sin. That unasema na hii ni kisema kweli. Nikiambia mama nani. Hii tutawachana. But I can I tell you the worst thing is when they discover. When you have not told them it becomes worse. May I tell people this. If you have a child, and I like this church, my single parents here have have our hope. Wako na watoto wao, na wanalea watoto wao, na wako nao kwa church. Ukimutaka uyo single mother, hakufiti, kwanza ukenda kutabia kwa kati utashanga, kwa kati utamkuta ye, na watoto wake. Sasa ukimpenda, utampenda ye, na watoto wake. Kini kuna wengine, akipata mtoto na peregea mama wapi, Chago. Lakini kila wikimbiri ya nakimbia kuona mtoto na kupereka. Sasa ukimuona hapo unafikiria ni kailetu. Na kailetu waka mnaogea, 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 mnaogea. Na fisiku ya doa. Amen? Fisiku ya doa pasta hako hapa na kuja kukuwa za rafu mama anasema akio pale. Unajua jine suwali tunaulizaga. Sipoku wa pakaneza atuuliza. Kuna mtu wana sababu yoyote ambayo naeza zuhia hawa wili wa siwa. Mama anasema. Siyo sababu ya kuzuhia. Ni sababu ambayo ni important. Ni gani mama? Waweshi ya nashi yake. Nasa wa mzee anasema. Shiana. Ulikuwa na shiana. Eee. Na huku niambia. Nilitaka kwanza tuwa wane. Alafu na kumbia shiana nilizo nasa. Doa nyingi. Upende usipende. Hizo siri. Hizo zimezivunja. Dada kama kubarikuwa na Mercedes. Na ndugu hana. Usifiche Mercedes. Alafu ati siku ya doa niyo baba yako. Na kuja hapa na pretend ni kukupatia na kupatia. Kwa sababu italete vita. Siku utakata haende nae. Italete vita. Fadhali umuambie. By the way. Hizi proti ni zangu. Na isa hiyo ni dada na muambia ndugu. Na siyo hizi peke yako. Hata kuhiru. Good rush, I'm going to put a plot. Watch a Siri. Na kama kuna nduwa likuwa na kufukia jicho, muambie. Kuna nduwa pakanisa, ni hata saitu kitoka utaona. Ana nifukia kia jicho sana. Ini uite huyo nduwa. Ka huyo ambaya na kwa muambie, sasa muambie kutoka le. Azi nifukia jicho. Ayo hile kwa ramse. Kuna kawimo karibu wa zamani. Na nikakikuyu kana sema, nitaambia mama. 
Leo ni kijana anaambiwa na msichana nitaambia ma. Kwa sababu mama akiambiwa unamchokoza msichana wake, utakimbizwa sana. So it's always good to, to confess. I know some of you want to surprise, but some of you will surprise me yourself. Utaji surprise mwenyewe. In actual fact, if I were you, sister, Lydia, but I said, I'm Lydia, I'm a Christian, I'm a Lydia. Jamaa kikufugia jicho. Wako hii church, ni wazuri, lakini, naeza muambia Lydia, ni usiolewe na uyo. Na nikupe sababu tatu, na kuzabu na diamini uta muambia. Unajua shida ya wale wa kuamini, ukimuambia saa hiyo hiyo na muambia. Na unajua nini? Misho kwa lisema wewe sura yako, sura yako, sura yako, sura yako. Sasa kutoka pale, unatoroka nyoto wa mili, munaenda munaona wapi? Alafu unapata shida. Kulikuwa kijana moja hapa, tulifukuza. Tulifukuza. Kwa sababu huyu kijana alikuwa na pepo ya usherati. Na alikuwa akiapproach msichana anamwambia, "Kwani wewe ndio una sura nzuri kuliko nani?" Hata nani nime, you know? Na alikuwa ni urongo. Sasa nilipoambiwa tukafukuza yeye, kwani pepo gani hiyo nyeusi inasumbua kijana hapa? Na kumbe alipotoroka hapa alitoroka na mmoja wangu. Wanaliaga wamefunga moto. Alikata. You know some of you say, unajua mama ni mkali sana, sita muonyesha mtu, haka. Uyo msichana mpeleke kwa wazazi wangu. Tafadhali. Wacha wewe wakiogea na mzee kitogo. Kuna mambo mzee hata kwambia ni mtu wewe ujauliza. Unajua wewe uulizagi. Do you know some of, some of us? So wa kijana akitia kwa kama yule aliwa nyambura. Siya mekutia. Tunaanza ma story. Unafanyaka nini? Ulipitia watu. Ulienda wapi. Kazi yako. Na tena. Unampango. Mpango gani? na unaelekea wapi tu chini na timu nakaanga na nani na, na mkioa na mtakaa eh yani hiyo maswali ndio unamwambia msichana kuja uende umwambie hivi hii hatoe na hii ahame na hii aruge na hii yani what you do is to advise isn't it are you here lakini wengine wacha ka surprise ma this mmoja saidi harusi nimeongea nime sasa nitakuja tu kumwambia dena ageni na ukiniambia una ageni ile kuna fanyikanga Si wageni watakuja. Kwani nitakuaibisha kwa wageni nitasema leteni, nitauliza msichana. Tonywe. Ndio wakikui walikuwa wanasema, "Enyu huo." <laughs> Akasema, "Enyu huo basi." Nasema, "Nelewe huo." Sasa zitaletwa tutatumia. Lakini wewe utaishi maisha ambayo ni ya kuna ukorofi na shida. You know that he which is joined to one hallowed is one body, for two says he shall be one flesh. When two people become very close especially through sexual relationship, soul ties are formed. And if soul ties are formed, and because they are unholy, it can serve as a demonic spiritual bridge between the two persons. This can allow the demon tormenting one person to torment the other person. These soul ties should be renounced and broken in Jesus' name. We say, watch her. Watch her. Watch her. And then some people, Papa, Anna, Sasa Lazima to enjoy it. Because soul ties, Udanda, Ukijifunga, 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 Ukijifunga. Na kweli kabisa. Vini unavyo jifunga, Divi unavyo jiumiza katika maisha hai. Na kuna watu wanakaaga, Umeka ameaka kada. Alafu siku moja anaota. Akiota anaita Jerry na mke wake anaitwa Mgodi. Jerry ni uti ile moto. Jerry mmeweka sana. Alafu sasa sasa mama na mka na mke Jerry si uliniambia Jerry mliwachana. Are you hearing? Mm. But what has happened that night you are struggling with the Jerry because you have a soul tie with the Jerry or come out. It comes and in the middle of the night there you are, because you have a soul tie with this kind of a person. Sasa rapia mtaniyadikia. Listen to me. Hata dinya mwogu meo wa miyakamiki. Na kuna tupicha, 
bado uko napo na ukikaa kidogo unatishanga mke wako na mambo lakini unaona hata huyu alinipenda so dangerous i don't know whether you are here in what i'm saying hata huyu na huyu haikuwa girlfriend yangu huyu hata nilimpeleka kwetu kishagi hata nilimuonesha wazazi wetu huyu If I were you, I leave the service, I burn you. Gifts. Gifts. Maybe you are still keeping some gifts which you are given by that girlfriend of yours. Where you had the soul ties together and you still have it. And you know they seem like they are harmless. For example, a watch. A ring. A what do you call a mugathe? Pio, a necklace. And every time you dress up and look at yourself in the mirror, who do you see? The guy who gave you what? And you are married. You are allowing demonic forces, sexual demonic forces, to come and terrorize and torment you. Hii hii unajua hii hii kwanza hapo atanipatia alikuja tu you know can i also tell you something mm -hmm. there are some that are still doing it today they are still giving you gifts na unapokea unapokea tu so times some of us have gotten into where we are in the demonic world because of so ties. In Deuteronomy 7, 26, these are a cast object. We could have some things that are cast and we keep them in our own homes. Verse 26 of Deuteronomy 7, Neither shall thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest there be a cast thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cast thing. Cast objects such as idols, occult books, rings, etc., bring cast upon us. And some of us keep those things in our archives. We don't read them, but we keep them. Maybe we need to go and destroy them. It is biblical actually to burn all cut or cast objects. Deuteronomy 7.25 The grieven image of their God shall be burned with fire, for it is abomination to the Lord thy God. It is also evident in the New Testament as well, Acts 19.19 19. Many of them also, which used curious acts, brought their books together and burned them before all men. Ezekiel 20 and verse 7 Then said I unto them, cast Cast ye out every, away every man the abomination of his eyes, and defile not yourself with the idols of Egypt, for I am the Lord your God. Books. Spoken curses. They become other legal ways. Spoken curses. Your words have actually power of life and death. It happens. Because you've confessed that you, your white hair, not in that place. So we, we wonder, you know, I was so amazed the other day when a woman of 70, tell your neighbor 70, Seven. walked away from their marriage. 70. My white hair will not be shaved here. And then at that time you wonder, you think, who, who is helping the mother? Sini watoto? Ah, hey, mwache, mwaza, mwache, hey, mwache. Sasa watoto wengine, instead of becoming blue, diyo wanawachanisha. Wale muko na wazazi wa wili, mbarikiwe sana, na mwishi minere, na wazazi wengu wa ishi minere. Mama, mama akija mkutemberea wiki moja, wacha mzere. Umweke gari na kama una ukomboe taxi, umpereke kwa kwa nyaki. Anafanya nini kwa? 
You know some of you don't understand this thing. But I tell you, there are some of you that have a clue. Mtu anaumia. Muzee anaza kulia. Na ni muzee. Na hali, tiyo kwamba, kuna mambo anataka ya kimwili kutuwa kwa hui mama. But there is a lot of consolation and comfort that they get from each other. They help one another. Alafu wa kitabia, wala sama, hii maituona, ikarangu uku hui. Ukitoka kwa kemani enda kwa joroge. Kutoka kwa joroge enda kwa waidira. Kutoka kwa waidira enda kwa nyambura. Kutoka kwa nyambura enda. Yani, muna mpagia. Kaze kule, hey, hata mkienda after one week na mekonda, kwa sababu sasa ni mungedo tu. Don't allow it, because that also, unachua bebu unawa panda utafuna. Aya, utafuna bebu, Proverbs 18, 25, and if you have, you know, that is in the power of the words, life and death. If you have said something that has bound your soul, such as declaring, I will never amount to anything. Yani wewe umefika mahali, umesema, mimi ni bure ya bure tupu tupu. Sita toboa. Auta toboa. Sasa hiyo kama umesema, leo hii, uimeze, uideclare, that that statement, na ni lazima ukumbuka ulisembea wapi. Ili uishike, uimeze. Sende, never, I cancel that in the blood of Jesus. You know, some of us could have said other things like, I want to die. You know, no, don't die. No wonder you kuko na kaugonjwa kekine, kanapimu, hakaonekani, hakaonekani, pesi mgonjwa. Kumbe niwe unataka kukufa, kwa sabu ulisema nataka kuku, Iyo unakazu in the blood of Jesus. You say I will live and declare some good things about the kingdom of my father. Amen. Spoken. Denounce it. For, for by thy word thou shalt be justified. And by thy word thou shalt be condemned. Now let me get into something else. This is uh, generational curses. Generational curses. The sins of your ancestors can also contribute to your spiritual bondages and troubles. Exodus 20 verse 5. But you see the remedy to break this is to repent on behalf of your ancestors for their sins. Nehemiah 9 and verse 2. And to break any curses in the name of Jesus that may have come upon you as a result of your ancestors. Now, when you come you say, Mahivi, Kwa sababu ni memkubali Christo, who became a curse because of me, there are no curses that can follow me, whether they are generational, because I will denounce them. And I declare that from my generation, my children will be blessed. And I say this with a lot of passion, because I know I did declare that. At one time I got to a place I said, never, I will, it is the end. My children will not go the same way as I did. Why? Because the curses of them should not pass here. Because Christ has been hung on the cross because of me. And therefore he has become a curse for me. That's normally what I preach and tell people. But if you have not acknowledged, you have not even declared there are some curses that keep on following you. Kwani daktari? Daktari, nani ya nimuambia ukienda kwake kwanza na kuuliza maswali? Historia. Mama yako, alikufa na hii? Nasema ndiyo. Dugu yako, alikufa na hii? Ndiyo. Na baba yako, alikufa na hii? Ndiyo. Sasa vile unamuambia ni kwamba wewe unachende chende hizo. Kwa hivyo ukimaliza na umbea kwaka unamuambia wewe daktari? Usi dhubutu na usi jari. Kuna damu ili nitakasa. Hiyo chembe chembe hamna pima vizuri. Wacha kunitibu na ugotu wa my father. Because me and my father, we are different. Nilizoma kakitu. Hii internet ni mzuri sana. Nilienda kufungua meo. Kwa kuja kaati kwa kabuyu msichana wa Elvis. Baba yake alikufa akiwa 42. So the day she got 42, she almost died. Why? 
because she was also in drugs like her father. And he died at 42. So two years is when she's writing how she was so scared to death. I normally say this myself. My father died very young because he was poisoned, okay? But my great grandmother, Nili Mkuta, Nalikuwa Kiba Ndumoto, Nalikuwa Nanguvu Kuriko Shoshu Wangu. You can't believe this. So, I normally say, Chembe Chembe, Chembe Chembe, the great grand Chembe Chembe. So, you know, at the Ukati, so, at when I got 50 now, preparing to die, you almost close your eyes. <laughs> and then sing a song, Nothing like that. But you know, because of what you know, the things that you know can cause you actually to open a door of destruction and generational curses to fall on you and fall on your children. And that's why I'm saying, we will break something so that if they have been put there, we break them in Jesus' name. When we never saw yetu, yamewekwa kwa nyungu. Lazima tuifunje. Unajua kuna wengine, sijui epu ni kuambia tu, kuna wengine, mwalimu anajua we ni mwerevu, na anakuambia ni, lakini ukikaya kwa mti yangu, hatuwe kuna fanyikaka ni. Sasa mwalimu kwa zaabu ye hatuwe kuna hizo vitu, hawezi kukuwapea vitu ni takuombea, kwa zaabu ye hatuwe. Lakini mi natuwa kuna vitu, unaweza kuwa umewekewa, yaani we unafikaka mti yangu, unatetemeka, unafeitu. Ama ujasikia kuna watu, anafikiria bali ya mti yangu, Anaenda hivi. <laughs> na hapu wa kubojwa. We are going to do that. I'm the only vows. James 5 verse 2. But above all things, my brethren, swear not. Neither by heaven, neither by earth, neither by any other oath. But let your yes be yes and your no be no. Lest you fall into condemnation. Simu za nunu, wacha kuingia urongo nazo. Kama uko kisumu, we sema uko kisumu. Kama uko zima, sema uko zima. Wacha urongo. Unaingia katika ahadi za urongo. Bure bure. Na hakuna mtu. Ni simu alipiga. Pesa zangu utanilipa leo. Kama uwezi mulipo, wacha kumuambia kesho. Muambie, a a, ona kukura. Kalede kogoe. Yaani yata ukinyesha. Kira kamdudu kaimba imbe kwa kukinyeshewa. Sina. Ata kupeleka wangu. Lakini saa chideko ni kusema. Niko na plan. Niko na something. Nita toa japa next week. Saa next week inafika. You know I have a friend. Can I? Let me just say I have a friend. Last year November. Last year November. Nili mwesabia chapa. Kwa zao nilikuwa, mungu walikuwa menibariki. Kwa nime kopa hapa, nika kopa pale, nika kopa pale. Pale. Kwa hivyo kuna mahali ninalipa. Kana pia, aha. Wee, weka deposit hii kitu tutafanya nini. Kwa hivyo nikafanya hivyo. Kampatia ngiri moja, ngiri mbini, ngiri mianani. Na kila siku nikipia. Of course, I was it's where the Giandika Apa, Rabu Yo is in Mr. Moyo. Kina the other side the Kipiga at the Bia. We kill the rock by Wednesday. So I normally I normally call a little while. And then I'm told he we can resume. Wewe unafikiria ni wewe unakuwa kondi peke yako? Hata bisho banacheza. Hapa. But I still believe it will come to pass. I still believe something good is going to come to happen. 
And if that guy is in church, please take it easy. Greet me when we leave service, right? Because you couldn't have come to church, you know, you know. You see, talk to Leah. Tulia ni malize. Vows! Never vow something that you're not able to. Because it opens the door for demonic powers and very many things to happen to you. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Don't be at 50-50. At niko 50-50, apana sema kama ni lo la. Kama ni naenda kuomba. Si kuambi sahi. Nakuwa ni vizuri kuwa mtu wa kiroho. Ana kusukuma useme sema na mwema papana. Nipe wiki moja. Na ikija hiyo wiki let your yes be yes and your no be no. Because there are some of us to be jifunga na tuka jifunga. Kuna nuku moja ali jifunga hapa kanisani. Haku ubiriwa na mtu. Ana kuja ofisi. Ana kuja ofisi. Nia kakadha. Ali chukua chiki. Aka andika. 200,000 have given to church. But he had nothing in the account. I don't know whether he was a treasurer then, but anyway, whoever was a treasurer then. I was a accountant. But I was a accountant. I was a accountant. I was a accountant. I was a Did you make a mistake? I said, no, 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 no. Just keep it. I'll tell you when to deposit it. What is going on? So you can now to let Apana, I'm trying God. Man, he has been trying God now almost 20 years, still trying God. Because those were the years when 200,000 came to the account. Ataka account kanastuka. Why should you open your mouth? Why should you open your mouth? Finally, finally, stage three, demons must be driven out. People, yote, iwe ni ya usherati, ni ya urongo, ni ya vows, ni kas, hii pepo yoyote. Dawa yake ni moja tu, ni kuikemea, karika jina la yesu. This stage is the stage where you get to a place you say, enough is enough. We cannot share this with this person anymore. Kama ni gift you lipewa, na unawagopa kurudisha, vuncha hiyo saa. Choma hiyo kufitu umeweka. Sasa barwa zigine uliyadikua ukiwa secondary, na imechoru wa moyo, na mshano na pita katikati, na atipado unaweka hati. Atu kikakaa kidogo, Ukiona kama maadhia na kuzusha, unajificha kuangalia zile leta. Hili uwaza kujipa moyo. Ni kama unachukua moja, unalala nayo. She really loved to be. Choma hiyo kitu! You know, somebody said this. Hata upretendi huku zikia, umesikia? Umesikia. Uto tuvitu unavichaka kule, ito ni utitakukula. Kide kitakukula, kikula acho, Kiko hapo hapo na we Na nime kuambia dawa ni kuchoma Dawa ni kukiri Dawa ni kuzungumza Dawa ni kusema ukweli wa mambo Ukweli wa mambo Unachua To get the freedom that I have When I talk about the issues of marriage Is because one day I told my mother When I tuwa kuna kipini Uliku umetoroka kwa baba because I told her when I'm old enough. Then she asked me, Najua aje, Ni najua kwa sababu ulitoroka na mimi, Na kadadakangu kadrogo, Sisi tuwa wini. Nika wapereka wapi. Kule ulitupereka, Tulikuwa tukilala jini ya kitanda, Na kulikuwa na buwana mwingini. Ana sema, Deto ichi utikuwa da. Ha 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 ha. But the truth of the matter is, for me to get the freedom is for her to know I also know. <laughs> because I also knew my father. I was not that young. I knew my father. We have left him in Thika. And here we are. A whole bunch of us. 
So something was not. But I also don't know what happened, praise God. Another day, after a couple of months, tena to Kaibia bus. To Karuni kwa Mr. Francis Mugai. Na kandile na kazi yaku. So, so, I'm telling you this so that I can carry you, man. Hata kapu kumehepa na mama yako, na mukaenda pali, na mukaenda kule, na kule, na kule, na kule. Bado neema ya buwana ni safi, siyo? Saa kitu kizuri ni kukiri. Waje kukana itakuwa kuri. Hati, sasa siju mama atika kwa, kundi menya mama itu wa diya. Na hiko kwa pana, mazi, kone chukana. Alafa kitu ya kipokea sukari wa mabia. Na hemu wakaita menya gani yuri. Thanks. Then you have to face it. You have to face it. <laughs> I'm still your pastor. Yeah. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. <laughs> so if you have anything that is not yours, burn it. Return it. And if you are married, tell your spouse what you're doing. Mwambia sahi, imeamua. Imekwa ni kumwambia bari ya mudhondie, mudhondie, mudhondie. Kutanda na wewe. Ini wenda wabia mudhondie, bari wa zaka mudhondie, tizo hizi, na choma sasa. Yani, kwemu, hiyo story zako uwaje. Hei! Shibuku. Bane. Oh, Bane. Hei! I don't know. You know, we know preachers have only one thing that we know, is that God has told us to say this. But for how many we have no clue. Actually, I don't know how many people really needed what I have said. You know? I don't know how many people actually what I have said has helped them. I don't know. Si tu nilumambia tu nina mazishi? Si waliokoka watu pale? Wengine nilifikira waliokoka. Lakini immediately wakaaza kusifu mambo ni disema ni katua uyu. Si kuokoka. Ni kuhongoka. Kini kuna jamaa wali okoka, jamaa wengi, na nika wapatia kandisa la anglika wa wafaje follow-up. So I don't know. But you know yourself. Your vows and forgiveness. You are carrying a lot of weight. You have, uh, you have some curses that you know, you have identified them. Would it be too much? Would I be asking too much if I would ask you then? Kwanza ujichunguze tu, wewe peke yako tu. Tusisimame watu wato, unajua kirende na yo. Usisimame kama wewe, wewe uko sawa. Lakini, ukijichunguza tu, mwene kuna vitu pale, hapa, uko. And forgiveness. Kuna kutumirango, soul ties, kuna kutumirango mefungua. Kuna vitu vimekua ligo, kwa sababu we mwenyewe, umekatako wa propri dami ya Yesu Christo, na zina kusunguwa. Now, get better because he denounced. There's something you want to deny. After a little while, I'm out. You are.